Well, for two Kapahaka groups from Hawke's Bay, just getting to this year's national festival in Auckland has been a huge challenge. And with the destruction caused by Cyclone Gabrielle still fresh, their minds performing on stage has taken on a whole new meaning. Our Māori Affairs correspondent Tarina Kofai has more. A catchy solo or a duet. The Waiata Tira, a choral-like song to help groups to settle their nerves and showcase the harmonious blends of voices. It's the first item before kicking into the six other disciplines. And with just 25 minutes to perform them, defending champs Nga Tumanako from Tamaki Makoto had to really give it their all. Pressure of being the reigning champion uh, is definitely hard to shake. That's because they've held the longest reign due to COVID, as Te Matatini was delayed not once, but twice. Tutor Kawariki Morgan says they wanted to really enjoy the moment. We had fun up on the stage, and at the, at the end of the day, after five months of practice, at least you get that. So it's on the hands of the judges now. For two groups affected by Cyclone Gabriel in the Hawke's Bay region, Tamatia Arikinui and Matangi Rau, Today, it was simply about getting on stage. Their family in Wairoa, a town under mud, watched their performance at their local movie theatre. For Manukura Wahine, Joylene Rohe Karaudia, the performance was for them. Um, we said from the start that our hokainga was our fuel for today and we've maintained that all the way here. We're here, it's raining at home, so we're eager to um, get back to the whānau before any other road is closed. And their message to their whānau... E mihi ana ki a koutou te kainga. Hanui rā te aroha. See you soon. And no doubt the aroha has been felt. Terina Kōwhai, News Hub.